Alrighty, Ace Milo is back. Uh, we'll see where these videos go. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them. Um, for now, I'm just going to talk about some things I might want to talk about. I'm not going to worry about what's new, what's what's cool, what everybody's talking about. I really don't care. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, pick a few figures out, uh, shoot some videos about them, talk about things I want to talk about, and that's going to be it for now. Uh, see where that takes us. But um, I really want to talk about this guy. This is Iron Factory's uh, City Commander, another City Commander. Uh, quite obviously Ultra Magnus, and he is a Legends class, as you can see in my hand. He is small. Um, does come with more accessories than this. Uh, he has a hammer and, and a gun. Uh, he has different color hammer uh, handles. And he also has a couple of pods that come with all the Iron Factory stuff, but that's all stuff's in the box because I don't care about it. Um, but yeah, I, uh, there's another, the other handle I think is pure white, but I think the, uh, this one looks better. So yeah, here he is in his vehicle mode. Um, he does have some weapon storage, the gun stores where there's a couple of peg holes. You can stick it here, there, wherever you want. But that's his, oops. Wow. Uh, here's his regular gun. Can't hold on to anything. Magnus-esque, I guess. So we'll put that to the side. And this is just his gun handle. I mean, his uh, hammer handle. Which will show off when it's in hammer mode, but I just leave it. You can just leave it on there as a, you know, as a gun for now. Put that off to the side. And here is little Maggie, as he's affectionately called by himself. Um, it is all one piece. The cab does not detach. He does have painted windows instead of clear. Um, the missiles do come off, but not the red part, the whole white part comes off. These are a pain the butts take off the first time, so if you do get this guy, um, just be very careful. You're probably going to strip a little bit of the paint, but it's on the inside, so who really cares? Um, this guy pegs together very well, but all the pegs are extremely tight, and like these, this pegs in here, and these really don't want to stay together fantastically. And the hands kind of, you can see the hands right there, they kind of grip onto the, what will be the knees. But, uh, he does have wheels, but he doesn't roll. And this is the stupidest thing about this toy. Um, this is the one real flaw. These wheels, molded. This wheel, molded. These wheels, roll. Why? I have no idea. Because why would you have four rolling wheels and six non-rolling wheels? Then he just scraped the ground. So that's kind of silly, but I would have rather them either all roll or actually, in, I'm sorry, you have more wheels back here that don't roll. So I would have rather them just had them all molded or all rolling. Um, quite honestly, because of the way it's designed, they would have probably all been molded and I would have been fine with that. But having these roll and these not roll is very silly. But he does look like Ultra Magnus. He is IDW-esque, but he's not, but he's still reminiscent of G1, which is nice. Um, so this can go in you know, a G1 collection or a IDW collection. Again, those wheels. Ugh. It's the stupidest design. Um, there is another version of this guy coming out that's more uh, toy accurate, I think. It has uh, more paint apps. But um, I'm fine with this guy. This guy's pretty great. So yeah, so this part comes off. And this will be the ha this will be the head of the hammer. So I guess we might as well... Uh, Show that off. This just flips around, and you take the the handle, flip it around, and uh, this peg goes in. And there's a cutout right there, and there's a groove in there, and that pegs into there. And then the handle goes through the hole, and then the other half kind of clamps around to some. Maybe this way is the better way. Yeah. And then sometimes you get a gap, and you just kind of push and pull it to line everything up right, and the gap will close. So he does, he can't hold it by this handle or down here, but it's really meant for that, so this goes around the fist, and we'll show that off in robot mode in a minute. So there's really nothing else to say about this guy in vehicle mode. Um, he's a nice looking truck. He does have a lot of screw holes, especially on this side. And these screw holes are all visible, which I'm not crazy about, but whatever is what it is. But um yeah that's all I really gotta say about him in vehicle mode, not a ton to say. So we'll just get ahead go ahead and go to robot mode. So these pop off 
like I said the first time, you might get a little bit of a uh, see blue paint in there, which is from. Uh, were these stored? Maybe these were stored. It's been a while since I opened him, so I don't remember how they were stored. They might have been stored back here, originally, or it might have been in robot mode. Yeah, he was probably stored in robot mode the first time, and these go on the insides in here, and that's where the blue paint came from. These can also go here if you want. They do have holes in the back for that. Personal preference. Never was a big fan of that, but um, like I said, these come apart, but then you see the tabs right here. They tolerances are very tight, and like I said, putting all this pressure, still can't even get them to peg together. So fold those back. Um, come down here. Let's zoom out a little bit. As you can see, is a different work area. I'm in the basement. You can probably hear the dryer going because uh, I got my lights down here, I got everything set up down here, I figured, you know, new workspace, new, new, uh, you know, new attitude, see where this goes, kind of more laid back, got to reboot, and I'm fumbling with this guy a lot, um, these peg in, these two panels peg in on his waist here and here, again, tight, fold down, hinges very tight, this guy pegs in the legs, peg in here, in there, and then you'll see two slots with two pegs here and there, and you can see an L and an R. Um, all of these pegs, super tight. Come on. There we go. So yeah, see one, two, three, four. All peg in one, two, three, and four. Super duper tight. The legs kind of accordion, so you can see like this black part is all gonna go in the shin. So we lift that up, and we pop his leg off. Totally meant to do that. That's actually never happened. Um, just make sure the leg is all the way, the uh, the black piece is all the way in. It doesn't lock in, but it's so tight that it kind of frictions in, and it's. There we go. That one. Oh, they do a clip. They do kind of peg in. I think it's more of a friction joint, but um, these bits kind of peg in. There's a slot, but again, everything's so tight, it's not an issue whatsoever. So now we just take the cab, we lift the bumper up, and then we fold the whole cab section back along his back. Um, this does kind of hang down. He does have a bit of a butt flap but it's really not noticeable at all and really not a big deal. Head is extremely, extremely tight, so be careful of that. Um, arms, peg here, slot there. Both sides. Again, those are just friction tabs and those usually don't hold that great, but as you can see, on this guy, they're fine. And there he is in robot mode. So then we take the missiles, they go up on the shoulders. So the first time you do it, you want to rotate them and pull them straight out. Don't you know, shear them that way and you should be fine. It's kind of scary the first time. If you're having difficulties, you can try hot water or something, but I didn't have that much of a problem. And there he is. So he looks marvelous. He is fantastic. Look at his head. His horns are a little short, but again, Legend Toy does scale fairly well. Um, my nails are filthy, holy crap. Again, extremely, extremely, extremely tight. But very nice looking head. Uh, my favorite thing about this guy is his posability though. But um, let's give him his, let's do posability first. Head, extremely tight uh, ball joint, ball joint, um, no light piping, everything's painted. Shoulders are on ball joints. You would think this pylon would hinder it, but as you can see, it really, only that way it's hindered, and how many times is he gonna go that way? But other than that, as you can see, all the way around, no problems. That's a little hindered but not uh, to steal somebody else's word, hateful. Um, this the, can, Obviously, if you pull this way, this is gonna come out because it's just frictioned on, but 
playing with him, it's really not a big deal. It is hindered in this forward and back kind of motion because of all the, the chunk around here. But again, if you really want to, you can always cheat it and hide it in, in an angle like that. Not a big deal. Totally not a game break, not a deal breaker. It does have waist articulation. Uh, hips are on ball joints like you just saw. Fantastic range in the legs. No problems whatsoever. Nice deep knee bend. If you break it, you can go further. But that looks silly. Ankle tilt and a little forward and back. Um, I never actually looked in there. Are they on ball joints? It, there is a ball joint in there. So forward and back, side to side a little bit. Pretty much any pose you want him in. It's not that big, not, not that hard. So for his accessories, his gun. Usually put the gun in this hand, nicely scaled. Um, does look a little a little short, but it does look proportioned to him better than say like the MP gun. It does look a little short compared to you know the overall size of the MP. Um, the gun looks pretty much the same except smaller on this guy, but it looks better proportioned in my opinion. And the hammer, like I said, is on a hinge. Stick it in his hand. Fold this around so it doesn't break the sculpt, and there you go. And there is City Commander, all done up. Like I said, he does have a few other accessories. All the Iron Factory guys come with um, um, those little pod things that are like weapons and shields and stuff. Don't particularly care for them a ton, but they're nice to have. And like I said, those are really just staying in the box. But I mean, look at this guy. He just looks fantastic. Um, people are complaining that he is a little expensive, and he is. I think it was 45 or 50, and that is a lot. But I mean, he is a bigger, you know, legends figure. You know, the other legend figure I should have grabbed him, and I didn't. Well, here's the spoiler for the next review. There's a, there's the blackjack mold. So you can see uh, he is a larger legends class than. Uh, they're not the Legends figures. In my opinion, he is totally worth it. He's super fun to play with. He's super fun, super poseable. I'm going to leave that in. I mean, no pose I wanted to put him in. I couldn't put him in. He's very expressive, which I really like in my figures. Uh, he's a lot of fun. Totally recommend him. Um, if you missed him on the first round, I think he did sell out everywhere. But keep an eye for the second run. Like I said, it's just extra paint apps, I think, in the legs and stuff. Uh, see which one you like better. Maybe you can grab the other one. He is a little light, but he's actually, for a legend size, he is pretty dense. But like, since he is small, I am able to flick him around a little bit just because he is small. But he is pretty hefty for his size. It's very dense. Very well made. Uh, really digging these legends, guys. You're actually probably, if I continue doing these videos, you're going to see a lot of these because these just speak to me. I don't know why, I can't explain it. They're just very fun little figures. So yeah, if you, uh, if you dig this guy, go hunt them down, or like I said, wait for the repaint. Uh, definitely worth checking out, definitely worth your money. Uh, totally check him out.